Dr. Dave's weekly healthy bastards health tip. Now, you should have guessed, but it's winter and it's getting real cold, so obviously you're wearing your Bulls Flying Doctor Service beanie, which you can get on the website for a miserable price of 20 bucks. But with winter, we've got sore throats. And as a GP, lots of people are coming to me saying they've got a sore throat. Now we're not talking about a tickle here, just a little, uh, 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 a really, really sore throat. You know what I mean? Now, in terms of sorting out what's causing your sore throat, we need to know what it looks like and you need to know what a normal throat looks like in the mirror. So I want you to whiz off now and open your mouth in front of the mirror and have a look at this picture as well and you'll see a nice pink back with the little bit hanging down at the throat called the uvula and you might see the tonsils at the back. Can you see that? And it's nice and pink. But if you've got a really sore throat caused by either the glandular fever virus or the nasty streptococcus bacteria, it'll look a lot like this. Now have a look at this throat. You can see the red hot inflamed tonsils and see the pus on it? There, you know, the little yellow bits? Well, that's bad news and it needs to be sorted out by your GP. So, if it ever looks like that, make sure you get yourself down to the GP. They'll sort out if it's a nasty streptococcus bug that is easily treated with penicillin and it has to be treated because if not, you may end up with rheumatic fever or it could be the glandular fever virus which is sorted out by a blood test and they'll sort it out themselves. You got it? So sore throats, if you're not sure, have a look in the mirror. If it looks bad, like I've shown you in that picture, make sure you get down and see your GP. Otherwise, we'll look forward to seeing you next week in Dr. Dave's weekly Healthy Bastards Health Tip. See you later, folks.